What's up, everybody? Noah Kaser back here for a DVD and Blu-ray update. Thank you, person. You know exactly who you are. And we are going to get right into it. We're just going to go in a random order. We're going to do the DVDs first. Go by order. Oh, okay. That one still had the stickers on it. This one is called Hashtag Lucky Number, inspired by true events. I know nothing about this film, but this was free given to me. Um, I went out, and somebody I knew asked me if I wanted some DVDs that they didn't want. I said, sure, or that they didn't need, and I said, sure, do you want anything for them? They said, no, they're just laying around. I don't need them anymore. Take them. So, hashtag lucky number. Um, Natalie Hall, Cliff, Method Man, Smith. Sure, why not? This one is a little bit sun faded, but on the back, it's fine. And that is The Family Holiday with Dave Coulier. It's fine. There. But on the back, it's fine. It's okay. Uh, this one is... Hold on a minute. Let me get the address of uh, this one. There we go. This one stars Alexa Vega, Wilmer Valderrama, Wilmer Valderrama. Uh, Camilla Bell, okay, Nicholas D'Agostino, this is from Prada to Nada. This is a film that I have not been interested in, but uh, since it was given to me for free, I'm like, I might as well watch it. I don't know if I've reviewed this one or not, I don't even think I've seen it before. If I have, I don't remember it, if I... I haven't, I don't remember it, then that's a bad sign. Uh, this is from, or, or I'm sorry, Morris from America. I do not mind free movies. This one is The Man with the Iron Fists 2. I know nothing about this movie. I know nothing. I think I have the first one. This one I have reviewed. Um, this one stars John C. Riley. Molly Shannon, uh, Dave Franco, Allison Brie, Aubrey Plaza, and that is The Little Hours. This is pretty much about the uh, this group of nuns, these three nuns, uh, who get involved with Dave Franco, and uh, that's it. Tracy Letts and Deborah Winger in The Lovers. Oh, you really can't see that, can you? How does it look this way? There. The Lovers. Sorry, if you hear that, that is the um, dryer there. Yeah, it's a little bit loud. This one I know nothing about. I've never even heard of this movie. This is Jennifer Love Hewitt in Confessions of a Sociopathic Social Climber. Uh, this will be one hell of a movie when I review it to type the title in. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Um, this is a four-movie marathon pack romantic comedy collection. I reviewed one of these, and I've heard of two of these, including the one I reviewed. The one I reviewed was Kissing a Fool. The other ones in here are Hearts and Souls, The Matchmaker, and Playing for Keeps. Two movies come on a disc. Um, I don't know much about them. I know that Kissing a Fool was a decent film with uh, David Schwimmer, 
and Jason Lee uh, fighting over this girl. So, um, whatever. The last DVD I got here is The Cook, unrated. I believe this is about... It says, Sorority Babes, the other white meat. It's a long holiday weekend at the sorority house, and a handful of girls stay behind to indulge in three days of partying, sex games, and strangely delicious meals prepared by the weird new chef. But as the sisters begin to disappear one by one, the reigning co-eds, the slut, the stoner, the Bible beater, the dumb hot blonde, the predatory lesbian, the tease, the dominatrix, and the good girl, will find themselves trapped in a nightmare of graphic slaughter and involuntary cannibalism, and, a, and the heaping helpings of gourmet nudity. Um, Tony who's in it, star in this blood-spattered black comedy that cuts like a knife, tastes like chicken, and serves up a scrumptious feast of carnage courtesy of the chef, or, or courtesy of the cook. It's an old Anchor Bay title, and it was 82 minutes, and it was free. So, why the hell not? Then we go on to three Blu-rays. One of these I have seen. And, uh, well, I reviewed it. Let me get the address off. Hold on. I'll just do that, because the address is right there, so... Uh, this is Piranha on Blu-ray. I have seen this. Is it a good film? No, but is it fun? It can be. Um, it's a stupid horror movie that came out in like 2010 or 2011 or something like that that knew it was stupid, if you know what I mean. Take that off there go and this is boyhood not seen boyhood uh this is a film that takes place over 12 years that they actually shot in 12 years with the same actors i don't know how they did that that was truly amazing how they did it or, or how i found that out um this film follows the story of uh, a young boy, I guess it's just following, it's a coming of age story, okay, coming of age, and this one I am really excited about, I love Anya Taylor-Joy, she was in Thoroughbreds, and she was in um, Split, and Marrowbone, this was her first big film, I believe, and that is Morgan. Paul Giamatti's in this, Toby Jones, Jennifer Jason Lee, Rose Leslie, and Kate Mara. This is a hell of a cast. I'm hoping it's good. If not, well, it has Anya Taylor-Joy in it. She is always good. She needs to be given uh, an Oscar-worthy role right now. Um, best actress on the planet, my favorite actress on the planet right now, or working today. Not my favorite actress ever. She's one of them. I mean, I have not seen her in a bad film. Uh, but stay tuned for reviews of these films very, very soon. Got a lot of reviews coming to you. You'll have reviews for The Cook. Confessions of a Sociopathic Social Climber. The Lovers. Hashtag a lucky number. This was a TV film, apparently, because it says TV Mature, and it was a TV film in 2015, apparently. Morgan. Show Dogs. American History X. There we go. Affairs of State, Aardvark, Final Portrait, Prom, The Day My Parents Ran Away, 
and Predator. As well as the new The Predator coming out this Thursday, which I am highly looking forward to. So I will see you guys in the next video, which will be a movie review for The Cook.